Yo, welcome Flyfighters to the first ever eSport commentary for a Guild Siege on Flyfe Universe. The players are currently warming up. In two minutes the slaughter will begin. You can see here Norzi, one of the best Psyche Keepers that is currently available. We should keep our eyes on them. There we see Hart, the Ranger from Invictus that scored well before. And here we see Place, a Psyche Keeper that already managed to get an MVP on his belt. There we, are, we just get a look at Ant, the yo yo jester from Invictus, and Senji, the pocket ring master of Kaihatsu, the plate that is currently popping off and dominating the PvP scene. Right here we are seeing Almighty, the build poster with the current best ratio of the game. And yeah. We are about to start. Um, for the players that have never tuned in into a siege, it is basically a last man standing competition where you try to kill your opponents as fast as possible. The guild can line up between between like one player up to 15 and they are um, always only five of the players from a guild maximum inside the arena. So if one of the person dies, he will go all the way up here where you can see the people waiting and be in like a on hold waiting situation before one another teammate dies and they swap out and get ported down. And to get ported down you can see all those statues with those little beams here and the as you see right here those are the spawn points. So you have to be careful when you get ported so you do not get farmed directly on the spawn. Okay, we started. We are seeing a windfield popping off first and then the first assault by Almighty taking him down with a one shot. Right here we are having Hex, the ranger that managed to get 120 even faster than anyone else. So keep your eyes open on him. Kahatsu already on a killing spree. Now getting Berserk taken by Place and Norzi that are sharing the first and second spot. Luki with the A-Sword directly followed up by, with End and a Hop. Hart is trying to do his best. Vermont is going with the AoE Knight here. Oh, Hart while he was trying to attack got instantly taken down with a Hop. And another Hop by End for the victory. Kaihatsu 1v1ing a Knight and decides to... Oh no, that's a bad idea because the Knight has way too much health. So he's trying for an easier target and instantly takes it down. Ooh, spawn kill by Jeremy, that was a double kill right there with the Knight AoE. Karatsu on the chase. ESC seed, didn't pop in holy. He is trying, he's trying. And he got him. We can see Mark right here, one of the MVPs from the Project M better. So let's see what he can pull off in this siege. Kaihatsu taking down the BP in the 1v1, wasn't, BP wasn't even able to get his ace all off. New leader on the board is currently Hex with 8 points lead compared to Kaihatsu on the second place and Almighty on the, on the third place with 16 points. Invictus and Central Link are giving themselves an insane race. It is really close. Invictus slightly leading with 84 points compared to Central Link 77 points here. Hex is on the onslaught, chased by two players, defended by Almighty. Kamazu going for the hit with the height of Pena on the low HP person. Jeremy can still trying to farm the spawn with his AoE Knight. Not sure how successful this is going to be, but as we see, he's at on third place with 17 points. So he might be doing something right here. Kahatsu going, continuing the chase onto Hex. One of the best rangers currently available in the game. 
He's going for him. Oh, big mistake. Casting Fast Walker while not being in Dark Illusion cost him his life right there. Xelder, the knight from Prismatic, is the knight we need to keep our eyes open for. He's having a pretty decent amount of HP compared to the damage he is dealing. Luki with the Aesol defending, get it, basically stealing the kill from the knight right there. Almighty following up with a 29k Aesol. Big damage here. Hex just coming out of Dark Illusion and snacking that guy instantly. Oh, we have Almighty and Aesol again. That was pretty neat. If we were seen, he almost killed them in the Aesol cooldown without wasting any time. So really efficient playstyle by him right there. Current standings is Kaihatsu managed to surpass Hex, the Ranger, followed by Knives. Invictus now is starting to get a decent lead above um, Central Link, already about 40 points ahead now. Okay, Hatsu on the chase again. Hex going for his pew pews, able to get another kill, quick and dirty. And we're seeing a 1v1 from the Jester, but the Jester managed to get into a GI to escape and hop by Escalade to clear this up. Zelda trying his best with the auto attack knight, changing to AOE now, going for the chase, decides that another knight is not the best idea to attack. Oh, he, he seems clueless walking left and right, now he found a target and he is getting stunned. Not using Holy Troll, but able to heal his way back up to not die. Oh no, Norzi is back into the game. We haven't seen him in a while, but we can expect big things from him. So let's keep our eyes open. He's casting those bombs, almost one hitting the other dude, holy shit. He is on a killing spree right there. Oh, now he should be taking thing hard here, taking him off the, the table. And this, this is not the spawn. The spawn is to the left. You're AOEing at the total wrong location. What are you doing? Oh, some guillotine skills casted by Zelda. This is what you're seeing right there. He's doing it again with a triple knight fight. Oh, and Zelda got taken down. He was staying too long into the AOE without having the heal available to him. Unnecessary death right there. Kaihatsu facing the Elementor and knocking him down instantly. Hex is on the chase right here trying to attack the person that is jumping high with the scroll of velocity. Still on the chase. Now we are seeing Almighty with a... Was that a fail Aesol? I wasn't really sure, but... I think it got tanked right there. And Zelda with the easy cleanup on Almighty. Here we go. He is finally starting to pop off with the Knight and already on 6th place with 32 points. Kaihatsu is still leading with 66 points compared to the 2nd place Hex 59. Currently played over Ranger in the style. Kamazu on the chase. Going into Dark Illusion to get the assassination going. And we couldn't see the follow-up. Zelda here getting a sweet and easy kill with just one spell. Look how perfectly Senji and Katsu are playing together. The ringmaster is giving his best to heal his main plate. Hex still find, trying to find a good situation to get another attack going, but then gets instantly taken down by a hit of Pena.
we're seeing a yo-yo jester out of the dark and is he able to score a kill right here sneaking the kill away from norzy by now new standings in the board central link managed to surpass invictus by just four points so a really close race right here arcane arrow doing his best while his here hop was on cooldown to try to score a kill with his auto attacks but he did fail almighty with another a saw boom even get taking down a knight holy shit he is strong popping off with a second place at 63 points now only surpassed by kahatsu at 70 points Norzy on the chase right here getting an easy takedown but no his teammate Rex is getting the kill for him. Zelda versus Rusky but Rusky is able to escape easily here. Norzy still playing the catch up game trying to come into the top 10. Oh we have Kamazu here fighting the obstacle and not being able to actually go where he wants to and and why is he not using in holy scroll oh my god that would have been an easy kill holy scroll into hop right there but he was denied ringmaster versus knight that's not the battle we want to see this sounds fairly boring and uh, yo-yo jester on the chase trying to position himself for a hop getting the kill and immediately going back into defensive stance Hex now in Dark Illusion, trying to get an assault going, and he's surpassing many opportunities to get a kill right there to sneak in onto the one we wants. Zelda trying for the Ranger right here and getting him with the Holy Cross proc, uh, with the Sword Cross proc easily. Hex under a lot of fire was attacked by Norzy, and the final Satan cast into the bomb connection gave the kill to Norzy right there. Kahatsu on the chase taking down Rebirth at no effort at all. Place right here is a Psy Keeper that already, already managed to get an MVP going but his performance tonight is slacking he's not even in the top 10 on the leaderboard. He must be really mad with his current standing. Mark, one of the MVPs from the battle, also not on the leaderboard. He's probably a bit undergeared. If we're taking a look at his character, it looks like he's underleveled and undergeared, not even wearing a legendary golden weapon yet. Almighty under a lot of attack by Keihatsu, but manages to survive and get away. Knives the plate with two legendary golden axes from Invictus under heavy attack but managed to escape. Norzy getting defended by AoE of Jeremy trying to go for the kill onto Red right there, uh, onto um, Almighty right there. Bad positioning and refocus didn't manage to kill it finally. Now with the double team effort from Entis and Norzy they were able to take down Kaihatsu easily. Hart actually just tanked a hit of Penya as a ranger, pretty good thing. Look, take a look at the standing. Central Link managed to increase their lead by about 24 points, while Kaihatsu is still on first place as the plates, followed as the second place with Almighty at 70 points. And then we are having a Ranger at 67 and a Psyche Keeper with 57 points. And as we can see right here, Norzy managed to get his way back into the leaderboard, finishing at like managing to go all the way up to a fourth place already from not being seen on the leaderboard even at close like five minutes ago Norzy gegen Senshi trying to take down the ringmaster from Kraihatsu to have a higher chance for the MVP and doing this successfully Place going on to the chase here for Almighty and will he get him? He's not casting Satan, too many bombs, no CC. What is he doing? Eh, okay, he got the CC going for the kill, fine. We got a little AOE party going here. 
This is seems a bit wild, but actually the AOEs managed to give Norsi the opportunity to hide behind them and firing his bombs freely without any attacks. Mark currently CC, looks like he doesn't have any Holy Scrolls available, easily getting taken out by Norsi right there. Kahatsu on the chase, trying to go for Kamazu. Kamazu managed to escape with a dark illusion. He is still on the hunt. On the camera switch, so we couldn't see it. My, that's bad. Arcane error trying again with the auto attacks. That was a perfect combo right here. Auto attacks into cross line for the finish. Really, really well done. And. I didn't see what just happened. Did Rex just manage to hop Kaiatsu out of the game? No, Kaiatsu is still here. He's going for the Jester that has a high melee block rate, so probably not the best target to use auto attacks. He should definitely switch to his skills right there. Oh, he got the CC going into the skill combo for the kill. Really well done. Boop, 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 boop. Okay, those night battles are really boring. They should position themselves better to actually defend their teammates rather than AoE and AFK on the spot. Rebirth on the hunt for the ranger right here. And, well, this looks like, that looks horribly, horribly bad. Why would he use AoE there? He could use a slash keen recombination or anything else. Holy shit, okay. We're still having a lot of Dark Illusion classes on there. Norsi managed to fight his way back onto the second spot with 87 points, only surpassed by Kahatsu with 91 points. Centralink still 20 points ahead of Invictus with 336 to 316. So the game is still close, it's open, still any person or guild can win the MVP or the crown right there. Sanji buffing his played really nice, getting those extra stats going. Aaron able to tank the hop of Arcane Arrow, no issue. Sanji is healing him back up and now he's coming for the revenge, but gets denied by the Dark Illusion right there. Kamazu trying for a hop, didn't see what target he was going for. Obviously not going for the night and with an easy quick hop right there. Kaihatsu and his CC failed to use his Holy Scroll. Getting heavy focus but managed to get outside of the instant danger. But left his Ringmaster behind, didn't suppress him. He was greedy for kills. Still on the chase right there. Norsi going for red. Also not using Holy Scrolls. I don't know why those people are not using their Holy Scrolls. I'm 100% sure it was off cooldown because he hasn't used one forever. And he managed to win the 1v1 versus place right there. Obviously having more HP and better DPS than him. Nor is he onto the hand of knives, the, uh, the blade of Invictus, successfully taking him down. Now we have a rift draw, Kaihatsu and Norsi both with 93 points battling for the first place. Centralink still 30 points ahead of Invictus. Can Invictus catch up? We will not know until this game is over. Too much DC, no holies. That's a wah wah. Mappa Tufu trying his best with his auto attacks and actually taking down the enemy. And with an easy hop right there. Nersi currently trying to get onto a knight, 
that is only, holy shit, he's only doing 3k bomb damage to him. This knight is tanky as fuck. Lots of Dark Elus followed up by Wax with the hop for the kill. But immediately getting, tom getting taken down by Easy in the return kill right there. Norzy on the chase, trying to take more of the Invictus members down, especially the Ringmaster, to prevent him from healing his mates and successfully doing so. And first time he is on first place now with 5 points ahead of Kaihatsu. Kahatsu is probably desperately waiting for a respawn to go back into the arena and fight for his first place again. Fino, use your holy scroll, what are you doing? Do not take the CC like this. Kahatsu finally back into the game and immediately managed to score a kill right there. Norzi already at 3 digits, scoring 100 points. And Kahatsu is on the chase, he's trying to get his first spot back, trying to take Norzi out of the game. Hart is helping him with his pew pews. Hart going for lift, trying to take out the ringmaster of Central Link. For the benefit, Aruan just for passing, they do not communicate well to attack the same targets. They definitely need to improve on this one. Hart easily getting a one shot auto attack on the other guy. Immediately managed to escape with a dark illusion from the knight. And going into a rampage again. Sentry with a bad holy timing but still trying to close up to his mate um, Kaihatsu for the support. Centralink now finally start trying to work together as a team and free manning the other knight taking him down easy. This is how the way is played, it is a team game, do not try to go for solo kills in the end game. Try to group up and fight as a team. Kaihatsu focusing Norzi, he is not getting support by the ringmaster, Centralink is, looks like they are short on holy scrolls they tanking those CCs forever. Disappointing performance from Blaze, obviously also not using Holy Sports for some reason and not scoring his best today from MVP to not even being on the scoreboard. Essentially perfectly supporting Kahatsu here with the heal, Kahatsu was on the chase. He is rebuffing himself and now going for a rebirth, taking, trying to take out another knight right there. Still on the chase, I hope he has sneaker ready. He gets the sneaker connection and then immediately got CCs himself, tries to escape with the holy scroll. Nuoz is still on first place with 104 points, Kahatsu with 99 points, can he make it, can he get the MVP back? By now Invictus managed to surpass Central Link by 21 points with Invictus standing on first place with 422 points followed up by Central Link 401. Hark and Place could work together but they decide to go for different targets, I don't know why. Come on, get some team play going, focus on the same persons, now they got it. Hart and Place trying to take down Norzi. They're trying their best. He's getting his heals and he is gone after Rebirth Mark joined in on the fun. Hart is not stopping. He continues his onslaught, trying to attack a knight all by himself. Kahatsu managed to surpass Norzi again, and Norzi, but Norzi is back into the arena, immediately getting attacked by Kaihatsu and has to withhold the Holy Cross from Sanji as well. We do not see any Holy Scroll to benefit to deny the Holy Cross damage here. And this is probably his death.
little light little night party going here not the most interesting part of the game hard trying to get for to the jester but the jester managed to escape with the dark illusion now going for the hunt trying to find a target while he is in dark illusion and this was not it he tried to attack ahead so that obviously has way too much hp and the ringmaster following him Now what is this? One plate versus two knights, one ringmaster and another ringmaster and a ranger that is doing a good job by trying to get the ringmaster off of the knights and now they are here in the 1v1. Boring as hell, they just walk out. Oh, The tanks in this early game where the players do not have that crazy kind of gear are just really hard to take down by themselves. But now Invictus is outnumbering the game and they can target farm with multiple players onto one person just need to make the correct calls right here going for Vermont where's Hart going why is he not helping his team he's trying to chase for no reason and Victor scored really well they should just should work on their team working they do not focus the same targets and lose out on many kill opportunities Vermont, probably the best tank currently around, is able to withhold a free man attack for quite a long time, but now finally going down after Kaihatsu is jumping him. Kaihatsu now with a significant lead over Nozi with 11 points and Invictus definitely ensured their crown right there with 483 points on rank 1. Kaihatsu on the chase waiting for the respawn but all lives of the enemies are gone and Kaihatsu is the MVP and Invictus first place with 495 points. That's it for today and I wish you the best and we see you on the next siege.